What is going on you guys? Ramni here with a brand new quickie tutorial. Uh, I actually don't know what I'm going to call these videos yet, but this is a very short tutorial on how to draw Pochita from Chainsaw Man. Since we just did Denji from Chainsaw Man, why not do Pochita as well? So in comparison to the two, Pochita is a fairly simple drawing with a fairly simple shape. So it won't take as long as we did with Denji in a previous video. So let's do the breakdown and then we'll go ahead with the tutorial. Alright, so here is our reference photo for Pochita and you can see a lot of the basic shapes here. The main basic shape that we're going to focus on is the, um, what do you call it, this bean shape that we've got right here. Let me add a new layer, there you go. This bean shape that we have right over here, and that's kind of like the main shape. But in order to draw that bean shape, uh, that bean shape is actually consists of two overlapping circles. So if you think of it as two circles that look like this, you can turn it into a bean shape afterwards. So there's that. And then um, we're going to find like the center of that bean. If you think of it as that. So if you're taking a look then, you'll see kind of that bean shape, that initial bean shape that we got. And then you've got the center here. Oops. What am I doing here? There you go. And then it's just a matter of finding the other shapes. So there's that right there and you've got the snout, I guess you'd call that. Some teeth and you got the mouth. And then right here you've got the chainsaw. So that's what that looks like. And then you've got hands going out like that. You can make it as simple as you want. Uh, and then we've got feet right here and here. And then you've got the legs going in. You got the tail with the, the chain, chainsaw ripcord there. And then you've got the handle over here. He's also got a handle, which you don't see. That's like at the back there, but we're not going to worry about that one. So Let's remove that, and there you go. That's basically Pochita right there. So as you guys can see, I've got my paper in landscape mode, but feel free to flip it uh, vertically if you guys really want to, if you want to add a, or draw a bigger picture of Pochita. But I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to make sure I leave some space up here at the top because you want to leave some room for the chainsaw to stick out. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to draw a circle, kind of like in the middle of the page. Just like that. And then the next circle is going to be the same size, but moved over to the right and it's going to overlap slightly. So it's going to look like this. Okay. So here you might want to make sure that your circles are about the same size and that they're about like this. Now mine's not a perfect circle. I'm not too worried about trying to make it all perfect, you know? And then we're going to draw that bean shape. So there's that and then there's this. Okay. And again, like we did in the breakdown, we're going to find kind of like the center of that bean. And it's going to look like this. Okay. We're going to shape it a little bit we're going to, because he's sitting down, so imagine if you plop him down, there's going to be a little bit more weight at the bottom than at the top. So I'm adding just a little bit more off circle shape to it, more flatness to it. So it kind of looks like that, but not, not too big. So I still have my center shape here, my center line, I mean, and then you've got a little bit more of a flatter bottom than the top. Okay. Now taking a look at um, his snout, he's going to come up right here and it's going to be like a W shape, just like that. And then the mouth is going to be following along the, uh, the line here. It's going to look like this from like the center of this line 
to the center of this curved line here. And then we're going to draw two sharp teeth, cute little sharp teeth like that and like that. Okay, a little bit of a tongue inside as well. There you go. That's pretty cool. It's like right around here that we're going to draw the eyes and the eyes are going to be a perfect circle. Now mine's not going to look perfect and that's okay. With another circle inside. Kind of staring blankly into space here. Just like that. Okay. And then we're going to draw, let's draw the, the legs first. And the legs are going to be, um, let's figure this one out first. And this is going to be like right around here. I'm going to draw the bottom of the foot just like that. Just a little rice, uh, rice shaped foot right there. And then from here, think of a U shape going like this. And then another right shaped foot. A little bit flatter and leans this way more so than this one does. And this goes like that, like a foot, and then it goes into the body like so. Okay, same thing over here. This goes down and this goes kind of like this and then down again. And then we see a little bit, think of it as like a chicken drumstick. That's like the leg of the chicken and it sort of makes this shape right here, right? So imagine it making that shape. We're going to end it off right around here. There. Okay. Now from here, we're going to draw the hands and they kind of go down. And they make this weird shape and it basically just looks like that. It's like a tongue almost. I don't know how else to describe it. The two fingers, they look like this. He's also got two toes that look like this. Two toes. Okay. And then coming down from here, going down towards the foot here. And then it sort of just goes into the stomach. Almost following along the same lines as this foot, uh, this leg. And then don't forget the two fingers, just like that. Okay, so you wanna make sure that he's kind of like sitting on a flat plane here. So. If you need to adjust like where his butt is or where his feet are, uh, make sure you do that. But you don't want to make it seem like he's leaning. And if you drew your feet too low, it'll make it look like he's sort of leaning. So careful not to uh, make it look too much like that. Okay, and then just erasing some of these guidelines now. Okay, let's draw the tail and the tail sort of just looks like that. And here's the little triangular part and it's basically just a triangle inside a triangle like this. You want to curve those uh, corners as much as you can. There you go. And then Let's draw the top here. I'm going to start right here, close to the mouth, and then here, the top of the head. And you want to make it parallel to each other, right? You want to make sure that they are running in the same direction. And this one's not as long as Chainsaw Man's as a Denji, so it looks like that. And then we're going to draw the inside of it. I'm going to draw another line inside. 
and then another line on the outside, but this one's a little bit thinner. And it only, it stops right here. So that's like the edge, the corner pretty much, or like the edge of the chainsaw. There you go. And then what we are going to do, much like we did with Denji, is we're going to draw another thin line going on the outside. And that's where the teeth of the chainsaw is going to go. So I'm going to start somewhere. And I'm just going to start drawing the teeth at equal distance from each other, right? And then here. Here. Like that. Then one more. We do have room for one more down here. Okay. Giving it a little bit of depth. There you go. And then smaller teeth in between. Just like that. And if you guys want to add more details, lines in between that separate the teeth, like so. That was probably the hardest thing to draw in this whole tutorial. Uh, the very last thing is we're going to draw the handle that sort of acts like his ears as well. So I'm going to find a spot right here. And this is going to come out very slightly out this way and then change direction and then go this way. Okay. And then you want to make sure that this line is parallel with the ground like that. There you go. And honestly, that's all there is to it. Once you do all of that, you're done. And that is how you draw Pochita from Chainsaw Man. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Didn't take very long. I'd love to see what you guys did. So make sure you guys follow me and tag me on Instagram uh, when you guys do this drawing. I'll see you guys next time. And you guys, that is all the time that we have for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in all the way to the very end. I appreciate that a lot. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So head on over to Instagram, tag me at draw2 so I can see your masterpieces. If you guys are ever curious about the tools that I use for drawing or the equipment that I use to make these videos, I have links in the description of this video. So make sure you guys check that out. If you are feeling extra generous, I have links down in the description as well for different ways that you can show your support on this channel. I already mentioned Patreon, but there are other ways as well. So be sure to check those out. Links in the description. Your contributions go a long way in ensuring that I can continue making videos just like this for you guys to enjoy free of charge. Again, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video right here, comment down below and share this with your friends in your social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and of course on my website, draw2.com, where you can find a free coloring page based on the tutorial drawing that is found in this video. Again, you guys, all of the links to those are found in the description of this video. So be sure to check that out. Finally, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw it too. I'll see you guys next time.